40 and we will be whittled down to 10 finalists and the winner of those finalists gets a season in Formula Ford, British Formula Ford, so it's a pretty big deal and we feel like we have a good chance, so that's why I'm doing it. Uh, I've done my qualification stage back in, I think it was September, so it's been a while, but yeah, going to Silverstone, driving a BMW M3 E92 race car, so I've had worse days, definitely. Today it's just going to be a case of uh, building up to it. We've only got four laps, so got an out lap to get used to the car, and then it's literally going to be a case of make each lap faster than the last one without spinning. Because if you spin, I think it's going to really ruin the chances of potentially getting through to the final. So it's it's not about the quickest time overall. It's going to be about who can approach the situation the best, and it is quite a high pressure situation because you've got four laps to show someone you've never met before how good you are in a car and you've never driven. So. Yeah, I have driven Silverstone before, luckily. Not the GP layout, I've driven the national uh, the national layout, but um, yeah, so as you can see, that's the national pit straight, and it's pretty damp at the moment. Hopefully by the time I'm out, which is 12.45, uh, so that's three hours and 30 minutes away, it should be dry, I would have thought. Let's go and see the car. So it is effectively a road car, BMW M3 E92 manual gearbox, roll cage in the back. We all just appreciate how cold it is this morning, it's like 3 degrees. And it's about an hour till I'm out on the track, it's dried up quite a lot now, fog's gone. It's really warm, it's nice. I'll have to take this Velocity jacket off in a minute, although that won't go down well with the team, but we've had about four drivers out at the moment. The car looks quick. It's the best sounding car out there at the moment, the Beamer. It's got uh, a V8, 450 horsepower, naturally aspirated engine, and it sounds, when they're braking, the pop from the exhaust is lovely. But yeah, it's definitely one of the quickest cars out there as well. Uh, the livery's really nice. Really like the Beluga livery, uh, the Team Beluga. Obviously hiring the car to the JMR scholarship today so that we can use it. Uh, let's go for here. While oh, these guys refuel their car. As you can see, my face is really lit up by the sun right now. And it's nice. I'm just going to go get my electrolyte drink. Which I'll have half an hour before I go out, just so I'm, I feel ready. And yeah, it's been interesting talking to, with some of the guys uh, who are competing in it. They obviously do sim racing as well and they're all from different backgrounds really I mean I know some of them Matthew Thornton I know him from a competition last year I done with Project Cars uh, and I know of some of the other guys as well so it's gonna be quite close I don't know how they're gonna whittle it down with only us lot doing four laps each but hopefully I can show that yeah I would be quick in a Formula Ford even though we're driving a BMW and here is my wagon. Yeah, not quite a M3 BMW, but it's it's got potential. It's definitely got potential. Colour's amazing. Looks amazing in the sunlight. I will admit, it's only got 64 horsepower. So uh, today we'll be judged on things like track awareness, pace, car control, all by Mike Newman, the former touring car driver. <laughs> Hello.
crash the turn one. Yeah. Like Three. And he actually, he actually turned the traction on and went right. Come in the stand. That was too far. She's overdriving the. Yeah, I was like, okay. And then, um. You're very good, right? You bet that. 237.3. Is that good? Yeah, the James said like 238. Correct. Right, yeah. yeah. The quick on the first one straight, and then you have this. So I got past the arrow cone, braked, and I saw a corner. Oh shit, you went up inside of that car. That's no, 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 no. <laughs> Right then, I've just had a shower, as you can see from my hair, so I feel a bit fresher, and now I can conclude on what happened today. That is the end of the day, and um, what a day it was. You know, driving arguably one of the quickest cars I've ever driven, in a straight line anyway, I mean, it was an absolute weapon in a straight line. Uh, 450 horsepower, God, it felt like it as well. Because um, it's so big as well, like, you're plummeting along, and it doesn't feel quick, but you know, you look at the speedo, and you're doing like 140, 150, and you're like, okay. That's a bit quick. And the first time I drove the international part of the Silverstone track. So a bit of a dream come true, not gonna lie. For the approach of drive fast to start with and then rein it in because I didn't want to be too tentative. You've got four laps to prove yourself to someone you don't know. So you have to put it all on the line. Uh, if you don't, then you could it could come to bite you in the backside later on for being a bit too timid. So yeah, we're gonna see and wait on the results from the JMR scholarship and because there was such low attendance today there was meant to be 40 but there was 10 people there's a rumor that this could be the final so today's driving could result in the winner I actually feel quite confident the instructor said very good words about me he said uh, I was the second to last driver to drive and he said I was the quickest by a mile his words not mine throughout the whole day so yeah he did say a few swear words when I outbroke myself and he did you know he was gonna pull me in but uh, he then went back on his decision and said do one more lap to complete your session just impress me and it was a tidy lap I impressed him I think because at the end of the stint he was you know shaking my hand saying your car control was unbelievable so it's a mixed feeling like did I overdrive it or did I do the right thing in going all in but yeah, so we find out if we win the JMR scholarship and a season in Formula Ford very soon. And yeah, I hope you like my first vlog. Uh, I will try to do as many as possible as well as other stuff on my YouTube channel. I recognise that that's an area I'm quite weak. So yeah, as well as the driving, I want to be making stuff for you guys. So if you did like the video, make sure to like and comment to give me some feedback. Because obviously I'm new to this. And so yeah, subscribe if you can, that'd be awesome. And I will make sure I try to do more vlogs and just more footage in general, you know, for my gameplay or whatever. So yeah, thanks for watching my first vlog and see you soon.